Okay. All right, so we're going to record and I'm going to turn it over to Chris. Okay, so welcome. I'm from UC Irvine. I was a former classroom teacher myself, so I've been trying to use this with my teaching and with my office hours. So our whole CalTeach program at UCI, we use a gathered town space for our office hours for our students and as a tutoring center, and you're going to get a chance to explore that area. So our agenda for today is um, what is this gather town space? What are some cool features that it offers us? Um, and then we're going to go into a gather town space that's already pre-made and we're going to explore around it. And then um, we're going to talk about like what does it take to create your own gather town space? And that'll just be a brief, brief bit at the end. Uh, any questions as we go into what it is? Okay, no, no questions. Okay. You can use the chat too, and I yeah. will use, use the chat. I mean, it's a small group, so just unmute yourself and ask away. So, um, all right. So, Gather Town is it's a virtual meeting space, and they have preset meeting spaces that you can just grab and go. So, they have like a university meeting space, they have little offices. I showed this to one of my friends, and she owns her own small business, small family business and all of her um, workers are now remote. And so she started using this as an office space for them to all meet in and, and work in together as well. Um, there's conference centers and stuff, or you could create your own space. So you, we'll show you what kind of a, a, your own space looks like. Um, all right, so this is our CalTeach, UCI CalTeach office space. Um, so we have created this one. So we created offices for each of the different people that, that work at CalTeach. So you can see my office. Um, we have uh, video screens where if students come in, they can actually find out some things about our program. We have different little tables on actually, yeah, you can see where my little avatar is there. So it tells me where I am on this space. Um, we added work tables. Um, the students really love the games. Sometimes they play too much games and not enough studying. Uh, so we have a Tetris table. We have some poker. We have different study rooms because we offer tutoring certain times of the day. And so the, the, our tutors um, meet in those office spaces for tutoring or students just get together and say like, hey, let's all study for, you know, bio, whatever at four o'clock on Tuesdays. And then you'll see a bunch of students pop in there and then they all um, go in there. And, they're, and they were so used to having an office space at UCI to work in that the students didn't want to give up their collaboration of working together and being able to, to help each other through classes that they just naturally meet in these in these spaces. Um, so there are uh, interactive also whiteboards so that you can place whiteboards around the office. And so we're gonna take a look at um, those things. And then we're gonna look at also some private, private spaces. So um, here we go. Uh, I also made my own classroom. So this is what my classroom looks like. I um, have a little podium up at the front. And when I stand on the orange dot, you're going to explore this when you go. Um, you can see what happens when you stand on the orange dot. And then I have my little, my chairs for my students. And then I have when I say, okay, now go to your groups, they, you know, get in their little, they take their little avatars and they walk to their separate groups. Each of the carpeted areas is is a separate space. So only the people in that space can actually see and hear each other. So we're gonna have you explore that a little bit more, but it's kind of more like a private space. And then um, in my office in the CalTeach space, go in there and you can kind of play around with the chairs in there and see what, see what happens with the chairs in there. Um, and then I cut, put whiteboards up and I, you could label each group kind of like you would do your own classroom, like, oh, this is the, you know, the anteater group, and these are the banana slug group, right? So you can actually put little labels on your tables for your students. Um, labels on your tables. Labels on your tables, yes. 
All right, so getting around um, Gather Town, they do have a messaging feature. So you can click on the person's um, avatar. So if I, I clicked on my name, it will come up and it'll say, you can message that person directly. Um, you can invite other people. Uh, you can find out where they are. There's a little tool that like, if the Gather Town space is too big and you don't wanna go around looking for where they are, but you see their name, they're in the space. You can hit locate them and it'll draw like a little map to where they are. So you can see which room they are in or which table they're at. Um, to get around in Gather Town, you just use your arrow keys. So when you first enter the Gather Town, it kind of plops you, plops you in kind of by a front door. And then you just use your keys to navigate um, around the space. Um, if you want to change your avatar, you can click on your avatar and you can change your clothes, you can change your hair, um, you can, you know, customize it to your own personality. Um, it does have a nice screen sharing feature. So there's a little TV screen in the bottom of it. So if you want to share your screen with somebody that you are talking to, um, you can do that. Uh, and you'll need to give access to your audio and video also when you get in. Um, one of the interesting things also is you can, you only can talk to people that you're in close proximity with. So if there's somebody across the room, they won't see you. They won't see your video screen. They won't be able to hear you. You actually have to be almost standing next to the person or you have to be on one of the carpeted square areas. So let's say there are four, three other people sitting at that table. Um, that's on the screen next to me, I would be able to see all three of their screens and hear them. But if anybody was off of that carpeted space, they can't hear us, we can't hear or see them. So, okay, that's a lot of information. Questions? Leslie says, can you locate them um, for messaging or through messaging? Or messaging or, you know, Chris, when you mentioned it in the beginning that you can locate them, um, is that if they're in the presence of in this space, the virtual space, regardless of where they're at in proximity, are you able to locate them a message? Yeah, so you, you can message them no matter where they are in the space. So you can definitely send them a direct message in the space. And then there is also a locating feature because remember, you can't talk to somebody unless you're standing next to each other. So let's say I have a student that said they were gonna meet me for office hours at 4 p.m. And I see on the um, screen that their name is there, but I'm like, I don't know where they are and I don't wanna walk in and out of every office. I can hit like, a, I can hit their name and then I can hit a locate button and it actually draws me like a little zigzag line to exactly where they are and I can just follow that line to get to where they are. So you can message them from wherever they are um, and then you can also like physically locate them in the space as well. Oh, I can't hear you, Leslie. I said, that's kind of scary. Scoping <laughs> this is virtual world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there's some nice features that make, make it kind of private. There's an interesting private feature in my office. I'll let you kind of figure out what that private feature is in, in my office space. Um, oops. Okay. Oh, one thing, one thing, Chris, I just wanted to yeah. say is that when you set up your gather town, you can require a password for mm -hmm. people to access. So if you can set it to public so that anybody can just come in if they want to, or you can have a password that people who only people who know the password can gain access to the space. Yeah. Uh, there's some settings that we'll go over when we come back out of the gather town space of like, how do you set it up and some other features that you may not see enabled when, when you're walking around um, in, in the space. Okay, all right. So when you get to the Gather Town um, space, oops, I'm sorry, I'm hitting that. Um, you can edit your avatar. I wouldn't spend a lot of time editing your avatar today because it's more important to have some time to get around, around the space. Um, you're gonna need to turn on your camera and microphone. The default is to turn it off. 
Um, so sometimes you have to unlock your camera and microphone. So the first time that you go in, you have to give permission to the gather town space to use your microphone, to access your microphone and your camera. So you're going to be asked that. Um, and it'll ask you which, which, uh, camera or microphone that you want to use. If it doesn't work up in your URL bar, there is the lock symbol right in your URL. So you may have to unlock that and then go in and provide access to the gather town space. Um, then you just hit the green join the gathering space. And it'll ask you the first time what your name is too. So you can put in your name and you can adjust your name. I mean, my students, sometimes they come in with funny names. I'm like, okay, who is this now? Um, but they, they like to have silly names when, when they come into the space. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spend maybe 10 or so minutes in a gather town space and you can walk around and we'll all be walking around together. So we're gonna have you, uh, when you get into the space, try and meet up with a partner and go around the gather town uh, space together so you can try out some of the different, different features with each other. Yeah, so when, when we go in, I'm gonna go ahead and mute every, you can leave your Zoom on because we'll come back to Zoom, but I will go ahead and just mute all. So it's really important if you're if you're in Zoom and then you move over to Gather Town that your mic is muted in Zoom, or else you're going to get feedback going on. Um, so once you guys get over to Gather Town, find someone to partner with, because that way you guys can play around with. Okay, when I go in a room, when I go out, can I see you? Can I hear you? That kind of stuff. So if you don't know anybody, just find someone to partner up with when you're there. And then Chris, you wanna show them a couple of things that they can do? Yeah, so um, uh, so one of the, so these are some things that we thought you could do, but also feel free to explore more space. Um, so like go to those carpeted squares and then sit in the tables together. But then as you leave, have one person leave and, and see what happens when you leave that carpeted space. Um, when, go up to a whiteboard. So any whiteboard in the space, you can go up to the whiteboard, you can leave a message. Um, I didn't check what was on the whiteboards, so hopefully everything's good. Uh, so go up to whiteboard and you press X and it gives you the whiteboard screen and you can play a tic-tac-toe uh, game with your partner or something like that, hangman, whatever. Um, explore the different um, offices. So go in and out of the different offices and you can see in my office, try, try sitting in the red chairs. Just gonna give you a clue. Um, you can try playing uh, some different games with your partners. There's games around the office, so you can stop and, and maybe try a game. And you can go up to a TV monitor and press, press the X key and then think about like, hmm, I have these TV monitors. What videos might I leave for my students to go around, you know, maybe my classroom space. And then there's an orange, the orange circle by the podium. So go up there and stand on the orange circle and, and see what happens. So those are just a few things, but feel free to explore more. So let's say it's five, 516. Do we wanna come back at like 525, Chelsea? Or so? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And then what we can do is we'll just stand on the, on the podium and let everybody know. Okay, to head to all right. Zoom. I'm gonna put the link in the chat now to go to the space. So once it's in there, guys, go ahead and click on it. I will stay here in the waiting room for a little bit. So if you have trouble, I mean, I'll be here in, in Zoom. So if you have trouble getting into, yeah, and I will, I will uh, head out. Okay, I'm gonna mute myself in Zoom because I am in the space and I'll be waiting for you. I don't, I don't see the link. Okay, the link is in the chat. Chris, it's not showing up. Not showing up. Chris. It's not showing up in the chat? No. Oh. 
Oh, you know why? Because I'm sending it to the waiting room instead of everyone in the meeting. There we go. That would help. Thank you. Chris, how do I grant permission? It's like, it's not letting me do anything. Okay, so it depends on your computer. So you might have to go up to the URL link and you see the way there's a little lock at the top. You may have to click on the lock and then the lock is going to um, bring up your camera, microphone, and notifications. Mike, so I'm having a problem. <laughs> here, let me um laughing at let me, me huh? let me share my screen here. Okay, can you guys see my screen right here? Yes. In Zoom? Okay, so here's what you would when you put in the URL up top, this is what you get. If you can't get your video and your um, camera, what Chris said is that you go up to this little lock right up here and you can click on it and it's gonna say, it's gonna, it might be blocked is what I'm, so you might have to, to go ahead and click on allow for the camera and allow for the microphone. And then re, re, re page again. Oh, there we are. I see everybody moving around. Okay, so some things to do is to, with your partner, go on and off the carpet, um, go up to one of the TV screens, uh, go up to the whiteboards, explore the different offices. our office hours and our office hour times. And so our students just pop in there during our office hours. So a lot of times I'm just sitting like at one of the tables. I don't even go into my office often. I'm just sitting at one of the tables and when the students pop in, they just walk over to me. And I usually have my screen and my, um, my camera, my mic and my camera off. And I'm usually just working and then they can do that ring. The person, they can ring you to like, hey, I'm here. So. It works out really well. Okay. Well, it seems like for you, it just makes it an easy way for them to, to click on versus just having a, a Zoom going the whole time or something for office yeah. hours. Yeah. Like so instead, so yeah, instead of having Zoom, we have this space and there's, you know, I often find like my boss is in here or my coworkers are in here. So it's kind of replacing that, you know, where you used to just go around and the corner and talk to your colleague or, you know, and the students can find you easily, so. How, how taxing is this on the broadband? I don't think it's any more than Zoom. Uh, I've, I've had less problems with this than with Zoom. So. 
Um, when you when you are in the space, nice. also you can share oh, your. Screen. Oh yeah, when you are in the space, you can also share your screen. I don't think anybody tried sharing their screen, but the same is kind of like Zoom. You can share your screen, and the students can see it. Um, when you're in there, if you if you are talking to someone, and you you know how the the screen is really small for the other person, you can click on their screen, and you can actually make it bigger. So it's a bigger part of your screen. Um, the only thing about screen sharing in there is it's kind of small sometimes and you kind of have to zoom in on it. Um, it's not as good as screen sharing as, as Zoom, so. Hello. Um, do, is it just always open or do you have to open it and close it at a certain time? No, it is it is always open. The link is always live. Okay. I'm just thinking for like young kids, you know, having a place that you've organized that then they just go to, you could have some, you could have some issues. So one of the ways I mean, that you could modify, sorry to interrupt you, but one of the ways you can modify it is that you can require a password mm -hmm. and you can change it. So when you create your own space, it's going to ask you how you want it set up. So you'll be given that little, that little code, right. That takes you to your gather town space require a passcode. So uh -huh. you can change that passcode if you don't want them in. You just, when when you're done for the day and you don't want them accessing that space, you just go into your gather town, change your passcode so that even if they tried to get in, they wouldn't have the correct passcode to get in. Yeah. Okay. It'd be the same thing. You just change the passcode. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was wondering. All right. The slide I'm trying to show you is not popping up. So let me see. Okay. So there is when you set it up, let me see if I can make this bigger now so you can see it. Oh, for some reason, this one is not sh sharing. Okay. Um, I don't know why this one is, I had a whole slide. I, you can see it off to the side. It says there's a, there's, there are settings. So just like Ch Chelsea was saying, um, yeah, let me see if I can refresh this and see if it'll help. Um, so yeah, there are different settings and different passwords. And yes, yeah, some of my students, right when we created the space, um, they were in there playing Tetris nonstop. And we had to be like, okay, guys, get some work, work done. They were having like little tournaments. Our club, our uh, UCI Calteach club also meets in there and has events. They have game nights. Um, you can have a calendar. Um, uh, you can have a chat history. You can save it just like on Zoom. Um, and then the space, the space access, that's where you can put your uh, passwords. And, you know, I, I'm not sure if you can set like an open and closed hours time. So I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure about that. So, but there are different, lots of different settings for you to customize it for your needs. Chris, can you tell us again how you get to that space thing that you're in right now? Here, I can, let me, um, let me share my screen, Chris, real okay. fast. Oh, yeah, let me stop. Mm -hmm. Let me, let's do this. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. And we're just going to go to, I don't even know what's on my screen, but we're just going to go here. Um, okay, so if I take you to a gather town I have, um, it pops this up, so we're going to just join, and then once we're in this space over here on the side, so this is just a space, and um, it's loading in right now, um, and then this is just a, a regular preprint one, so the one we saw with Irvine was um, one that was created from scratch, and then this was just a template that I chose, and so you can see it's similar, it's more of what they call a lounge space, so there's different tables everywhere, um, there's this larger one. I put whiteboards places. But if I go over to the settings, um, we can click on space access. You can shut it down. Um, it'll remove everybody from it. Um, you can require a spa password. So it's really simple. At the end of the day, you just go in and you can change that space password and then nobody can access it till you give them the correct password again. Um, so that's one way that you can, you can do it. Um, and then Chris will show you this in a second, but if you wanted to change it, you open up what's called the map maker oh, yeah. feature. 
And then basically it's giving everything little codes and then we can add or change things. So we can, um, we can move stuff around. Um, we can select things that we wanna change. Um, and then we can put some objects in and we can erase stuff. And so right now this is our room. We can add another room if we wanted to. So you can actually, like how they had those little side rooms, you can click on it and add more. Um, if we click on object, um, it's gonna tell us kind of everything that's an object and then gives us things that we can add. And change. So if I wanna look at the tiles, go ahead. Is, is this available in the free one or in the paid one? Because I just have not found this in the free one, but maybe I just haven't looked in the right place. It's in the free version. So I'm in the free one. I just literally picked a, a conference lounge space okay. and set it up. So this is all in the free one, but you can make all the different kinds of tiles. So spawn tiles, portal tiles, private space. And then you put all the different kinds of objects in. So if I want to add an object, um, it gives me a whole list of things that I can use. Um, Oops, and I'm running both. So my, now my connection's unstable with both running. Um, but yeah, so that's the, um, that's how you can kind of use those tools on the side. So I can't, everything's in my way. I can't get out of this. Yeah, wall. so that all of all of our Calteach ones are all free spaces too. So my my classroom and then our Calteach office space, they're all, we're you just using the free version. Um, I think like if you had a class over 25 students, that you wanted to meet in there, I think you would have to pay, but I think it's it's not a ton of money. I, I don't, I mean, it's in the dollars and cents, you know. Yeah, so, so you here could pay it, just for by sessions itself, not necessarily like a subscription. You, or... I think you, I think you can do both. Yeah, you can do both. So this is the free version. Yeah, I, I, I was just looking on it. The, the pricing is. The pricing could be by time, but the pricing mm -hmm. also could go daily or monthly. That, right. That's all on there. Yeah. yeah. And if you're planning on less than 25 people in your room at any given time, the free one works. Um, but if you wanted to go with more people, let's say you have classrooms up, up that are much larger, then then you have to look at what that feature would be. Um, you can always use it as, as office hours and stuff too from there. Um, but other things that are on here... Um, Here's your build, so you can build different things. Put I put in different things. You can erase stuff. You can upload stuff from here and edit things. Um, you can have calendars in there. There's your chat feature and then the participants that are in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing now. I've gone to one that I created a while back. And it says global build not enabled. I'm wondering if this is some UCSC ITS problem. Because I, it, yeah, maybe you guys never had this. Or maybe you changed something and it made it work. Are you a the owner of it? Like when you click on that user roles, are you the owner? Um, let's see. Where do I find the user roles? In the participants? Um, so no, you go back over here and under the, yeah, under setting the settings. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm going to the user, user roles. And so here's your full control of the space is this email address. Yeah. I don't have it. I don't know why. I don't have anything for user roles. Who's You're probably not logged in to, uh, to gather right now. Well, I seem oh, yeah, to be in the room. Oh, maybe you I can be okay. in the room, but not be logged in to, to the gather platform. Oh, oh, yeah, so it makes true. reading you Gretchen yeah. like you're just a participant in there. Okay. Yeah. And you can definitely like um, control who is who is able to build things. So like in the general Calteach office space, I don't have building rights in that one. So that's turned off. So I wanted to put some things in my office. So I had to ask, can you put it, you know, let me be a, a builder in the site for just a bit so I can, you know, move things around and put things in. So, um, and, you know, I was joking that 
in my actual classroom space one, my 12 year old son built that one. Cause I think he was faster than I was about like, Oh, you know, Minecraft. Oh, just put a chair here and put this plant here. And where do you want some plants? You know? So like, if you have any, any teenagers that or younger kids that do Minecraft, I'm sure they can build you a sweet space in about an hour. <laughs> no, I have a technologically retarded 19 year old. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm it <laughs> but anyway I'll see if I can adopt someone yeah um they do have a nice uh, I'll share my screen again so in the gather town space um if you actually go to gather town gather dot town uh they have a nice uh space and they have a nice checklist so you can look up their checklist and it kind of is like things that you can set up in in the space and um other resources to get it going so uh, i did hyperlink that so I'll, I'll copy that so here's the checklist I think that's kind of, we're kind of at the end. So, so, you know, there's some pros and cons, obviously. So, yeah, I'd be interested to hear from anybody who has tried it before or has never tried it. Um, you know, what do you think um, are some of the ways that you could probably try it with your, with your students or colleagues? So I would definitely give it a try in my, at least to start with NACD 150 class, where I have around like 14 students. And uh, actually most of them are, not most of them, but at least like uh, 30 to 40% of them are actual teachers. So that will be helpful. Like we can, yeah, because they are also teaching online. So they will also find this one interesting. I don't know if they use it or not, but yeah. And that's what I'm planning to do maybe yeah. next week. Yeah. Mighty, have you used it in your high school classroom at all? Yeah, I, I've used it in my uh, class before when we were all in distance learning. Uh, I realized that um, it's uh, actually blocked when they're using the school Wi-Fi, so that, that is mm. something to notice. Uh, but yeah, when That's I right. yep yeah when 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 we ran it, uh, it it was a lot of fun for them because they were able to like self organize and they they had like a, a stronger sense of like responsibility and agency in terms of like picking which groups they want to work with. Maybe some of them wanted to work in like uh, individuals. So they would go into like a smaller table. But um, so I was able to walk through, they could see me like walking and checking in with other groups. Uh, it is a lot more to think about also, because uh, you do have to keep in mind that only the people mm -hmm. around you can hear you. Um, I know there's this one time where um, I explained all the directions and I came back, I'm like, all right, do we have any questions? And they're like, we couldn't hear you that whole time. <laughs> yeah, so that was a lot of fun, but um, yeah, I, we, we did uh, end up going back to Zoom just because of the, the um, we weren't able to access it uh, when we were on campus. But, yeah. Okay, so back when you're back in person. Yeah. yeah. I've used it with my students when I've had them meet me there and they were working in pairs. So they were all in pairs at different tables. And it was just so easy for me to pop, 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 pop around each table instead of like Zoom, go into breakout room, wait to come out of the breakout room, go into another breakout, right? So it was it was so much faster just to do, 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 and keep checking in on all my, my groups as they were working. Yeah, I could see that I wonder with, if you could with have... people working together. Yeah, and I wonder I thought if you could of, have... Um... Oh, go ahead, Ryan. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I thought of using it with um, like scavenger, uh, like I have some scavenger hunt activities for science and, and other uh, curriculum that I've had, but I've never been able to do because of uh, with distance learning, it you can't do that stuff because you're just on one meet together. But since you share a space like that, they could easily, you could easily put it around and you could easily have them going around and then just interacting more or like you said like okay I want you to group up on these tables you could label the tables and then you could easily pop in at what they're doing um it'll be interesting to try out yeah 
Yeah, you could set up almost stations, you know, for them uh -huh. to go through. Yeah, or... you're going to go here and you're going to complete this, and uh -huh. yeah, it could it yeah. could be, and then you can you can see them doing it, and you could right. also walk around and see what's going on. Yeah. So yeah, it could be interesting. And maybe they can watch a short video clip. So you have a TV screen up there. They watch the five minute clip, answer some questions, uh -huh. right? And then they go to another one. There's a whiteboard, solve this or whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it, it could all, and that could just be one assignment. Instead of every single one of those making a new digital assignment for everything, it's just, it could be all on one assignment. And then now they're going around. Right. And it just makes them more, it, it just gives them a little more of a, a classroom feel in a bit. I can see you working for something. Yeah, that's my thought. I was also thinking that it, you could always, you could do the whole Google slide trick where you can have each slide up. So each table has a different slide or each group has a different slide and you can see them when you put it on gallery view, you can see them working. So you'd be able to see them at their tables and actually see which tables are working or not. And then move your little avatar to walk right by and be like, hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> Just like in real class. Right. I know. Going on over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so one thing that's actually really cool, um, before we head out here, we have just a couple seconds left. Let me show you just really quick here. I'm gonna see if I I'm gonna go back into my gather town space. I'm gonna share my screen. Um I wanna out of here. Go away. How do I get out of this one? I can't. Hold on. There we go. X out. All right. So in here in my little space. Um, over here, there are some, um, you can put up video screens. So a couple of things. Oh, I guess they're, I took them down. Never mind. I lied. So you can put up video screens and it's really easy to actually go on YouTube. And um, I'm going to turn that off there. It's actually easy to go on YouTube or wherever you have video links and you can actually just embed the video link and it pops up on your screen. So you can take like, um, I use this with one of my community college classes that I teach. And so they come in here to study and then I'll pop up if whatever our unit is, I'll find some different little clips from Smithsonian or NASA or whatever and put little video clips up there. Um, so you can change that out around your room too. So you can put content up in, in forms of these um, video monitors and stuff like that, but then you can change it really quick. It's like as simple as clicking on it, change the link and hit go. Um, so that's another kind of cool feature about it too, is it's pretty easy to change out your content that you've got in there. All right then, well, we have only a couple of minutes left. Does anybody have any questions at all? No? All righty, well, thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go ahead and post. I'll edit this, the video clip, so it won't show us just staring at the screen when we're all off. <laughs> I pause the recording. And so my face will be talking away, mute. Um, so this will be up posted on our webinar page. And um, check back from, if you check our Calteach um, page here where you registered for this webinar, you'll see all of our old webinars with the video recordings and any materials um, posted up there. And our, we have a couple webinars that are coming in, in the uh, upcoming months here. So check back there. We're going to have a new one. We just uh, got scheduled in March on Perusal. If you've never used Perusal before, it's a, um, a social e-reader. So they can, students can annotate text together. So that's another really cool one that we're going to be um, having a webinar on. Um, but yeah, any ideas that you have, if you have things that you'd like to see or that you use in your classroom that you might think other people just... Go ahead and contact us. Um, I can put down an email address. Um, we love sharing new things. That's why Chris and I wanted to share GatherTown with you. Um, but there's a, a whole host of everything else out there. So if you have different ideas or you'd like, you'd like to host a webinar, we would be happy to, yeah. to work with you. Sure. Alrighty guys. Well, we will talk to you guys soon. Have a great evening and thank you guys for all attending. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.